welcome back everybody so got a little home project um <clears throat> new video today um have i have a little bit of time um uh making some garage improvements some stuff that i thought about um so i can start making videos and stuff inside the garage uh, one of the biggest things is, is <clears throat> reason why i can't make videos and stuff inside the garage is because of the poor lighting um getting angled and directed um i figure it's coming up on winter time i'm gonna be having projects being able to get the garage and stuff organized so i need light to make videos so <clears throat> if you haven't uh haven't subscribed to the channel consider doing so uh drop us a like on the video all that other salesman pitch to uh try and get you guys to uh engage with the channel more and keep up to date but anyways <clears throat> so I had seen a video about maybe a year and a half ago uh, about these lights, um, and I, I liked them. Or well, I mean, the video seemed like they did pretty good for the price, and it seemed bad. So I finally broke down and got some. So I looked up, got these off Amazon. These are the uh, Hyperlight High Bay Light Series. Um, they are two foot supposed to be two foot wide um i wanted the four foot but they stopped selling those that was right during the midst of the pandemic uh, i guess they all sold out and they quit making them maybe they were hard to get i don't know um i got these off amazon i'll drop a link down in the description um these are the 160 watt versions uh the two pack special you can buy two um at the same time instead of individually buying them i didn't look to see if there was a price difference it just had a package deal um these are twenty thousand eight hundred lumas so pretty excited um i'm gonna show you guys the current lighting situation in my garage and why i want to try these out um you know 190 bucks well you add tax and everything around 200 dollars uh in tennessee i think it's like 9.25 percent so these are pretty cool um all led construction um kind of has a um, the texture here kind of breaks it up a little bit i guess scatters the light out the cooling fins um i guess uh supposed to help with cooling this brand the hyperlight brand seems to have a lot of great reviews they got a lot of different mix of lights and everything um I'll show you when I get to installing them and stuff. I'll show you how they hook up. It's really simple. They do have a level on them if you're concerned about the level of your lights. A uh, cool little bulb and everything that's got in, installed on there. But uh, sorry for no big unboxing. Hey, look what I got here. You know, it's um, I pulled them out of the box, uh, laid them out, wanted to check them out, and. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot in the box. I could sell it and make it exciting, but I'm not going to. Um, one thing do note that I don't think is mentioned or is overlooked. I overlooked it. <clears throat> so these come, if you just buy the lights, they come with um, hangers, hanger chains. Um, the hangers are clip on the side, one on each side, and the chains, I'll show you that in the video once I get them installed. And they hang. In uh, the pictures, it shows you the description of a uh, a tube that comes down, which is where your wires will be running through, and a mount that mounts on top. It gives it a clean look. It looks like it's suspended just by that one piece, uh, which it is. But you have to buy those separate. I found those on the uh, Hyperlite um, Amazon items page. I think they were like $25 a piece. So if you order these, um, make sure you go ahead and get those if that's what you prefer over the hangers. Um, the hanger stuff, I was going to order some, um, but they wouldn't have been here within 24 hours. They bolt into the side, kind of just here, where your hanger system will be here and on the opposite side, and same thing on that end. So, uh, I'm going to go inside real quick with the garage door shut. Uh, I'm going to go in through the side door and show you the current lighting situation that I have going on right now, and then... You can use that as a before and after. So, current lighting situation. I'll open the door. 
show you the pitch black darkness. There's a little bit light from the uh, uneven seal of the garage door. But I have two dual bulb, four foot fluorescent lights. So I'm gonna flip the switch on real quick. Uh, it's not super bright out here. It's kind of dingy. The phone camera might help it. Uh, it adjusts to low light, but not as good as it should. Um, fluorescent bulbs, cold weather. Everybody knows fluorescent bulbs during the cold weather uh, suck. And they kind of got to heat up. So trial run to see how these two do in the garage. And um, if I want to put some inside the house. So that one right there is slowly but surely going out. Um, I have the same fluorescent bulbs inside the house and I have swapped over a bunch of different things, but I keep eating bulbs. So by the time I keep replacing bulbs in these, uh, it will have already paid for the one, the, the ones that I just purchased. So never mind the garage, the messiness, I'm going to be working on cleaning that up. But for right now, I'm going to get these uh, lights knocked out and taken care of and swapped out. So here we go. So I just pulled these covers off and I never pulled them off to clean them. I'm almost 10 years in my house. And it's just crazy how much is in here that's collected between cobwebs and bugs. I got my ladder spotter down here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get these disassembled and uh, ugh. man, it's gonna be a lot brighter. Now I'm gonna show you uh where to hook this up at basic construction there's a little flap door on here held in with one single phillips screw um i've already taken that out so i can show you um if you look at the information on the lights and stuff that they have listed they have uh the availability for a dimmer switch so you can install a dimmer switch and they have the gray and purple wires they're labeled positive negative uh hot cold for you know, if you want to use a dimmer switch, if they're far too bright. Now, these are very simple on how to hook up. Um, you, they got them labeled. You know, your ground wire, your ACN, your ACL. So basically, all you do is when you get your wires apart for your other one, you just shove them down in these little holes. It's connected, no wire nuts, no nothing. And of course, you know, you got punch outs on here that you can uh, run your wires through there. Um, very simple, super simple. Uh, hardest part is holding the light and doing it with two two hands. So here's the hardware that it comes with. The hangers that connect to um, the side. And put those in there. Um, and then, I'll come back to that. And then the chain. You got one chain for each side if you choose to do these. Uh, if they hang low. Um, right now, I have one installed take a peek at it I'm going to shut the garage and check and see exactly what one light does for a difference so um, I'm gonna figure out a way to hide all the wiring and stuff right there and make it not look so so dingy and crappy but we're gonna try this one out close the garage door and see how big of a difference it makes all right again Complete darkness, except for the seal from around the garage door. Go ahead and flip the switch. Oh, holy crap. That one light's pretty bright. That was way better. So, I'm ready to get the other one hooked up and see what, it, see how much brighter we can go. That's such a big difference what it was this is super cool light number two is up one two i'm gonna flip this breaker real quick and we're gonna, gonna what are you doing bb we're gonna try light number two um moment two so i'm gonna run in here real quick show you total darkness and then flip the lights on Completely dark. 
I'm gonna flip them on and see what happens. Ooh. Those are nice, nice and bright. So, just looking at these, I think I'm gonna add some more. Yeah. So I think might put some other ones back there and then maybe some corner lights over here, some back there, corner lights over here. Ain't bad. Oof. Plug this Johnny up. I've had this light for a while. Somebody got it for me. Let me find a connection. All right, I think I found it. Yeah, buddy. So that right there will conclude my uh, hyperlight video. Uh, may do an update if I have more lights. All kinds of action going on. Ooh. Might be a surprise. Video might have to wait and come out after Christmas. But anyways, so that's my review. Um, simple install, super, super install. Um, as far as price versus lighting, mm, I think they're a little on the high side. Just first opinion, I think they're a little on the high side. Um, maybe for what they are, maybe they need to be higher up, but I don't know. That's just me. Um, the quality of them is really good. Uh, they might last long, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, how long they last. I'll update if I have any issues out of it. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I thank you if you've watched and tuning in. Um, like, subscribe, share. The link for the lights is going to be down in the description. So, there's ways to help support the channel. So, peace out, everybody. Hope you have wonderful holidays if this comes out after the holidays. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. Thank you, everybody.